Hello everyone, welcome to a new Casual Corner series. This is Chef, a restaurant tycoon game. And I figured, uh, I played this game a little bit and it was a lot of fun. I did the tutorial and had a good time. And I thought to myself, why don't I bring along everyone for the journey? So, why don't we start a new game here? I didn't get very far, so it'll be fun to do this together, I think. I kind of have an idea of what I want. Played around with this a little bit before. Uh, I guess that's good. Let's do a very fancy mustache. Like this. But do I want a hat? Yes. I want a fancy chef hat. There we go. Um, this one. This this one is the the, the stressed out chef looking. Uh, something is burning in the kitchen. I think kind of look. Um, I think I'm gonna just gonna do the black shoes. And everything else is fine. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take a quick picture here. Oh, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the relax difficulty, because uh, this is casual corner after all. All right, let's get started here. So I want to give you a brief rundown of basically what we're looking for. This is the city map. We get to pick where we're gonna do our restaurant, but it's important to note that, well. How do I put this? Um, let's click on a spot and let's see. Is this <laughs> street gangs are here? Let's not pick there. Let's. Um, I'm trying to find a good spot so I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. This is good. Okay. Uh, over here on the right, you see all these different groups of potential eaters that might come to your restaurant. And each of them values something different. Like the cheapskate is uh, looking for low prices. They really don't care much about anything else. Uh, blue and white collar, for example, are looking for a quick meal because they got to get back to work. So they're looking for quick service. Um, the food enthusiasts and the gourmets, like, the gourmets don't care about price, right? They'll spend all the money in the world as long as the food is really good. Vegans and vegetarians obviously are looking for specific things. So each of these has... Each of these groups has a thing that they're looking for. So if you provide that thing, you will attract this kind of person. Um, and I wanted one with a big lower class family because according to the tutorial, that's what's going to get me the big bucks early on in the game. I'm sure eventually we could, you know, focus on something else. But for now, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Lots of lower class families. Um, so I'm going to stick with this one. And I want... I'm probably gonna stick with this because this is gonna give me good room to expand. It's got a good sized hall and a good sized kitchen. So let's rent this. We're just gonna get started today. I don't think we're gonna be doing much cooking. I don't know everything, but I'm gonna skip the tutorial because I've done a little bit of it. I kinda got the basics. All right, the first thing we need is hire waiters we need more recipes on the menu we need tables and we have some decisions that are available what decisions i'm not going to do this right now because i think this costs money oh popularity points and we don't have any popularity cool um i think the first thing i'm going to do is hire a couple of waiters all right so for waiters we have alice diego and Evgeny. Don't know what that means. Uh, 
they're all level five. I'm just gonna get Diego because I like his beard and Evgeny. Let's do that. Okay, so we got that. We need meh, the recipes. So here we have what we have available. Oh no, um, let's not do this yet. Let's get stuff because we need the stuff to be able to cook, right? Like I don't have like an oven and stuff. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy the good oven, the good cooker. This one, you can see it costs more. It, it costs 68, uh, 680 bucks. This one's only 240, but it's made and cost is higher and it has fewer cooking slots. And I think at the end of the day, we really want more cooking slots. These are terrible colors. But I'm gonna stick with the red one. Uh, so let's put that right here. Uh, next to it, I want an oven. So we'll put the oven and I'm gonna stick with red. Next to this, I want a table. Guess I'll stick with the we could go for what is this An, a grill if we want to do burgers uh, that's kind of pricey though you know what I'm, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get this for burgers will you please why can't I put you exactly where I want That's gonna bother me, but it'll have to do. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna move this. I put the grill. Why did it do that? That's so weird. Oh well. And I want you right there. No, I don't like this. I think I'm gonna put the table in the middle. That's going to be where people are going to be prepping. Will you please? Thank you. People are going to be prepping here. All right. So prep, cook, prep, cook, cook. Let's move this over a little. Okay. Perfect. 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 Okay. Now we need... Uh, that's fine. Okay. Now we can go... Now we can go to the menu. And this will tell you what you need to prepare each meal. Now these are all pre-prepared and they're not great, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of each. So I do want to point out to this area here. For example, this is uh, it's vegetarian. Well, it's got vegetables in it. It's vegetarian. That means it doesn't have any meat, but it's not vegan because it has dairy. But it is healthy. So you have to look at these tags. Some people are going to like something like, for example, vegetarians are obviously going to like vegetarian, vegetarian food. Um, so your menu will attract different people. So anyway, at first we, we don't really have much choice. Uh, I'm going to pick the recipes that have uh, good uh, rating here. 70 is okay. So we're going to start with our appetizers. Now, hold on. I didn't see how much it costs. So this costs a dollar twenty-four to make, and I'm gonna charge two fifty. Now we gotta make a profit off this stuff. I am gonna offer one vegetarian. Well, I think the other one's vegetarian too. How much was this? So you gotta pay attention. This is fifty-five cents. I'm gonna ch charge a dollar twenty-five. We're gonna increments of twenty-five cents each. All right, as far as main courses, I do want to offer some pasta. Just plain butter pasta. I'm going to charge $1.50 for this. Let's add fettuccine alfredo, which is slightly fancier. So I'm going to charge $3 for the fettuccine alfredo. That might be, a, that might be too much. We'll see. Uh, I want... 
the cod with onions. 76 cents. Um, let's do two dollars. What else do we have? Let's do a grilled steak. Just meat. That's a dollar ninety. Um, let's do th three fifty for a steak. That's not bad, man. These are good prices. All right, we'll get some salad in here. We'll do a light salad. This is vegan. Uh, how much was that? 25 cents. I'll charge a dollar for this salad. And I'll do the cod salad as well. I'll also charge a dollar. Soups. We got some soups. I'm going to do a basic tomato soup, which is cheap, 30 cents. Charge a dollar. Maybe with some mussel soup. Yeah, I'll do mussel soup. I'll also charge a dollar for this soup. All right, so far we got to we got to vary things up a bit. Let's do a jacked, but let's do both of these. Charge for roast potatoes. I'm gonna charge a dollar. That's a. I'm gonna charge a dollar for roast potatoes, for the jacked potato. Do a buck twenty-five. All right, we still have the few ingredients, so we need to toss something else in here. Chicken breast. Let's do chicken breast. It's just a, let's do a dollar fifty for the chicken breast as a main course. Dollar fifty. We still have this tag. Maybe we can offer desserts. Um, cookies. We're gonna do not two cook two kinds of cookies, ninety nine cents each. Oh, we got the thing. We got rid of that tag. Good. Do ninety nine cent cookies. It's not a dollar. It's ninety nine cents. What are you talking about? Okay, and some refreshments. Let's do ninety nine cents for all of the drinks. Just put them all in. We'll just do 99 cents across the board. Can't sell things for loss, you know what I mean? And these are all adjustable, so... If things are not working out, we can always lower or raise the prices. But we have a good menu here. So here's, here's the next part that's going to be important. Uh, we have... Uh, ingredients panel so here is where we can all the ingredients we can unlock and therefore unlock new recipes but also the quality of the food that we're offering right so we, if we want to make better steak we can just get higher quality steak um, it, I think it's important that we stick to what we have like basics, like tomatoes. I think I'm gonna want a tomato level two or level level two tomato. Uh, we have onions. Quite a few of our dishes have onions in them. Where's onions? Here. Probably gonna want onions. Got to be careful though. Running out of points. Um, tomatoes I already did. I think I'm gonna go over here. Oh, let's do. No, let's stick with what we have. Um. I might do a fresh pasta. I might do a beef. And I know we had cod. Where's cod? It's under seafood, that's where. So cod. Because we have some cod dishes too. So that's gonna do it for us right here. Like later on we can unlock. Unlocking only costs one. But going to the second level. Actually, let's not do that. Let's not do any of that. Um, I think it might be better if we unlock more. <sighs> Let's unlock more ingredients first. And then we can worry about increasing the quality. I think that's a better idea. Let's see. Uh, artichokes, asparagus, cherry tomatoes. I think olives and cherry tomatoes 
and spinach. Okay, that's enough for there. We have plenty of things here unlocked, so we're not going to bother. Um, I think we're okay here, too. Now, here we have some room for improvement. I think I want to unlock tuna. Do I have salmon? It's already unlocked, so I'm going to unlock tuna. I'm going to unlock... I could do sour cream. I actually have quite a few things unlocked. Let's stick with some spices. Let's see what we can do. We got cilantro, mint, sage, tarragon, thyme. I want thyme. I want rosemary. I want parsley. And I want... I, do, I, I, let's do some chili peppers. And I have one more slot. Other. Let's see what I have here. Soy sauce, jam, cocoa, coffee, mayonnaise. Vinegar might be a good one. Seeds oil. I have olive oil. Do I have vegetable oil? Is that a thing? Hmm. I'm actually between mustard and seeds oil. I think I'm going to stick with mustard for now. I'm not going to worry about the alcohol and the fruits and nuts and beans and stuff. That can come later as well. This should have unlocked quite a few more recipes for us. Uh, which we can create new recipes here. Uh, eventually. I, I don't think I'm going to do that today. I just want to get the restaurant up and started. Um, but the last thing we need to do is distribute our points. I think we have points here. Staff panel. Where's our... Oh, skills panel. Here we go. So for me... These are all the recipes that I can create. Like, I know how to do pasta. I know how to do sautéed rice. But I don't know how to do lasagnas or rice pie, for example. Um, these are your pastas and rices. I only have three points, so I'm going to have to be careful here. I do want burgers. I do want to unlock burgers. I'm going to save that. Roasted fish. Fried fish might be good. Fried meat. I think I definitely want fried meat. Meatballs might be interesting. These are different perks and stuff. Desserts. I don't think I care about desserts yet. Fried veggies. We need a fryer for this, though. I, I forgot about that. Creamy soups. This is a tough one. Yeah, I think I'm going to do meatballs. I think I'm going to unlock meatballs. For now. Alright, that's so that's for me. I've unlocked... So I have a variety of things I can make. And we can make recipes later. As far as the staff, uh, we'll need people to be good at bringing people in, right? Uh, greeting them, seating them, taking orders, and then delivery, the bill, and then cleaning. I think everyone, I'm going to give everyone at least one point in energy, no matter what. I think I'm going to have Diego do... Fast writing, fast delivery, the bill, and cleaning. And Evgeny, I'm going to have him seat people energy, and then writing in this. So he can be more focused on bringing people in, taking orders, and Diego could be more focused on taking orders and then cleaning up after. I think that might be a good idea. Did I not save it? I didn't. See, you have to click the OK button. It's, it's kind of weird. 
Okay, so I said you, you, and you. Okay, so let's save that. Did I save mine? Yes. Okay, so let's see. We still need tables. Okay. I'm going to start off small, and we can always expand. Like I said, it's a big space, which is one of the reasons I got it. So let's start off with... Can I do black and red? Yeah, let's do that. So for these, I'm going to have them up against the wall here-ish. Right here. Starting here. And then just do like three. We can always move them later. It's not a big deal. And then... I'm going to do these tables. And I think I'm going to have them face this way. That way there's a little like walkway here. And then another row right here. Perfect. And the last one can go here. Great. Okay, that this is not enough though. Like, people still are not going to come in. And this is one of the things I understand the least about this game. But like, the decorations will attract people of a particular type. So... It looks like it says, if you don't meet the minimum requirements in terms of ambiance, they won't even come inside the restaurant, which is weird. But I don't understand which people like what. So, I don't, like, who likes modern? I don't know, right? So, I have three modern points. Do the low-class families like this? No, they hate modern, so I'm going to sell that. What do they like, though? Do they like rustic? So I have two rustic. They they're indifferent. What about elegant? Do I have elegant? Oh, I don't even have access to that. So I'm gonna stick with rustic then. Purple. That's awful. Why does it have to be ugly colors? Let's do this non committing non non-committal beige <laughs> there so i think the rustic is going to be the way to go they don't love it but they don't hate it and we're going to start off with lower i don't say lower class people but um <clears throat> it's what it's going to be for at the beginning so let's stick with some rustic what is this that's elegant. Who likes elegant? Oh, lower class families like elegant. All right. Well, let's bring in a little elegant. They hate that. I'm going to stick with this, though. I'm actually going to sell it and do a different color, though. More mahogany. Can you please? Right there. Oh my god. Why are you backwards? Whatever, man. All right. <laughs> Let's do some wall decorations. Let's keep it rustic, though. I like these. I, I like these menus. I think I like this one better. All right. <laughs> Let's see. What is this, a mushroom cloud? No, it's a tree, sorry. Ooh, let's do the ugly lion. This is horrible. But I want it. Let's make it right there. A big old lion as soon as you walk in. 
All right, so with this, we've completely gotten the people. I guess it's six. They want to come in here. Lower class, elegant and rustic. I'll probably get a couple of them. Maybe? Well, they don't like the elegant, but I did enough rustic to bring them in. Maybe I need just a little bit more elegant. Is this elegant? Yes, the naked lady is elegant. Ooh, Venus. Yeah, let, let's bring in... <laughs> the birth of Venus. That's what you want to look at when you walk into this restaurant. How much? Almost. I almost got him. Come on, let's do something else elegant. Is this elegant? That's modern. Dang, I don't want to buy another one of these. I'm going to have to. Just to bring the, the people in, man. I'm going to put this, like, right next to the other one. No. Um, By the door? Also no. Here. You won't be able to see it. Oh, it's because of the rustic? Is that why? They don't like... I don't understand. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't get this. This is very weird to me. Is it the tables? No. I don't understand what I need to do to bring in more of these people. I wonder if any of them will come. They they seem to like the elegant, but like, do they have higher taste? Like, high, higher requirements? I don't know. I might have to look into this. Okay, so it attracts... I know the, the meh face is not a bad thing, but like, I don't understand... Anyway, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I think I'm going to play. Hit play for now. And... Can get rid oh, no. Let's bring that back out. I'm going to hit play for now. Bring the... Bring my employees in. And then uh, I, we'll start the cookery next time. I'm not going to start the cookery today. For now, I just want the people to show up. Here I am. Here's Diego and Evgeny. All right. The crew is here. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Uh, casual corner. Let's save that. Game saved. Let's pause. And the people are going to start come. Oh, there's people here already. And they're all cheapskates, I'm guessing. It's a cheapskate family so next time i think we'll we'll see how this works and see if i can't figure out how to bring in more people and then we'll eventually start making our own recipes and stuff like that so it'll be good times i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this hope you guys are looking forward to this uh, little series let me know if you have any recipes it recipe ideas we can start making those um and if you have any comments questions suggestions anything like that uh by all means drop them down in the comments section and uh yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time when we continue to play Chef.